but you have to understand also that their process is extremely inefficient. So right off the front end, when you burn a high energy content fuel like nuclear, coal, or in some remote areas, number two, fuel oil, about 70% of that energy is lost in the conversion. This is just the, the way it is. This is from the Carnot cycle. They're about 30% efficient in the conversion of electricity into... And so in, uh, at any rate, you deliver the power. There's the power loss there. And then you convert that, you drop that voltage down to say, uh, depending on the span, it might be a higher voltage, but then eventually you get down to 220 and that's delivered to the house. Each one of those stages, there's a significant power loss. In fact, the local power loss sometimes is equal or larger than the power loss of bringing this across the, uh, the open spaces on the high tension power lines. So by the time you get to a location and then you plug in your all electric car and you charge that up, now you're dealing with another, say, with the lithium ion and the conversion and the use in electricity. You're down to about 1% of the heat energy that was created by burning nuclear or coal or number two fuel oil. You're probably within about 1% of the energy burned that actually does useful work. And so uh, the, the bottom line is that we need another source of electricity. If you could have a source of, of energy, in, in other words, by wing power, at the local charging station for, say, electric automobiles, you would, have, you, you would only have to produce 1% of the power that is produced by the electric power company. If you were using electrical energy for your automobile that came from wing power, just imagine all of the savings that would occur because, as I say, that one gallon of gasoline you put in your car from the, the, the spigot at the gas station, the true cost of that gallon of gasoline is enormous. And energy-wise, it's enormous. The amount of energy it takes to get that gallon of gasoline to you is enormous. So it's not just the money cost, it's how much energy goes into fracking that oil, fracturing it and breaking it down and getting the gasoline out. You only get about 15 gallons of gasoline out of a barrel of oil. That's a horrible, horrible return on investment. And look at all the gasoline that we use in this country. Absolutely insane. So uh, there's some other things going on. I'm working with some people right now dealing with uh, what they're called eco-villages, transition communities, etc. And one of the very big first markets, these are people that are very anxious to get off the grid. They understand the, the terrible nature of that, but they also understand that their independence, their ability to act as, as uh, chauffeurs or of, of their own uh, people in, in charge of driving their future, they understand that they need independent power sources. And literally, 